Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam and these are 20 year old Carissa Hollies that I'm sure are very well anchored in the ground that I'm going to take out today. These Carissa Hollies are very spiny, so I'm definitely going to wear some gloves. I could use a pair of manual hedge trimmers uh, to take this foliage off, but it would really take me a very long time. These are pretty big plants and they're very well established. So I'm going to use this gas hedge trimmer and uh, some eye protection. So, but the first thing I need to do is strip off all this foliage so I can actually see down to the ground to start digging them out. As you can see, that made quick work of that. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I need to break the roots on one side. The one thing I know about well-established shrubs like this is they'll have four or five main roots. If I can cut the two on one side, I can really start to peel it up at that point and then expose the ones on the other side and cut those off pretty easily. But we really just need to concentrate on breaking the main roots on one side. As you'll see me almost always using this trenching shovel this is a much narrower shovel. It's much easier to stick in the ground. And I've got a pickaxe here to cut any of the, uh, I'll use the ax in to cut the big roots when I find them. I'm basically just cutting a trench along this one side and uh, eventually I'll locate the main feeder roots I've cut all the surface roots all the way around this plant and using this trenching shovel, I'm able to slide it under and see, it's a little bit loose now, but I keep going under, pulling out a little bit of soil and dumping it right there. And that's all I do. So I just keep using this tool just like this and I'm just basically digging a trench underneath it. One side is basically loose. I'm gonna continue around this side a little bit. This is what's still holding on. And then I should be able to drag it out of the hole at that point. Okay, I'm tired now, but you can see it just let loose, it's free. Got him out of there. It's been sitting there for 20 years. I just wanna show you, I removed this plant in less than 40 minutes. Of course, I had the gas hedge trimmers. That helped a lot if you had mechanical hedge trimmers of some kind, that would've taken a long time just to get the foliage off. But using the gas hedge trimmers, you saw that was maybe two minutes to do all three plants and then I got about another 30 minutes invested. I dug right inside the drip line and cut the roots all the way around this thing. And then I started to go under them and just went under them and under them and under them. 
until I found the two or three anchor points and just broke those off one at a time and you freely just let go. Um, like I say, hollies are very, very difficult to dig out of the ground, but a landscaper would have likely charged you maybe $200 to remove this plant, quite honestly. If you know, a landscaper with some experience would have known how hard these are getting out of the ground. But I want to show you, even if it takes you a full day to do what I just did, you know, take the foliage off in the morning and then come back in the evening and start your trenching around it, and then maybe the next day you pull it out of the ground, you can definitely tackle this project without any problem. I'm going to kick this soil back into this hole after I get the organic material out. I don't want to bury any of this organic material in this soil and I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to be replacing the sidewalk that I'm standing on before I replant into this space. But I'm going to go ahead and take these other two out. I'm not going to film me taking the other two out. I think one was good enough. That's the basic strategy I always use. Cut around it, dig under it, put some pressure on it. Um, you could back a car over to it if you wanted to and hook it to a tailgate and put a little bit of pressure on it. Don't use your car to actually snatch it out of the ground because a lot of times you'll break the top of the plant off and then you're really going to struggle to get it out of the ground at that point with nothing to grab onto. So if you want to put a small amount of pressure on it with a vehicle or something like that and that way as you're cutting it it'll start to peel itself up out of the ground you know that would work but like I say don't try to physically remove it with the vehicle before you cut the roots. And so that's about it. Again, this is another one of those projects I think people think are out of their range of ability. And I just don't think it is if you use the right tools. Don't try to use a full-size shovel. I used a trenching shovel and I'm able to slide that little skinny trenching shovel under this plant. If I used a 10 or a 12 inch wide spade, there's no way I could really slide it up under the plant and do what I did. So I'm using the right tool for the job. Um, I didn't end up having to use the pickaxe, but once um, I had one main root on the backside that I cut with it. Um, typically, I think on an upright holly, I'd have probably had roots spreading out a little further outward and I'd have had to use that pickaxe a little bit more. But that's basically it. Thank you for watching my video and if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any questions you have about removing old plants.